Okay, secrets, connections, facts. Oh, that's the fact. She accused Florette. Elizabeth reported theft. Okay. And this is my mind map. Okay. Shall we start? Hello. Various art pieces have been packed and addressed to the auction house. I assume Madame did this. Yeah, the house doesn't look in the in the, in its very best shape, does it? It's dark and it's like I saw the walls, like the part of the walls were practically just falling off. So I don't think she's that rich anymore. Hmm, it does not seem to be working. Why would a house of size of this size would be without a working telephone? And I'm starting to get used to the game. At first I was like uh, confused because it's not what I expected it to be, but it's not that bad. I'm actually quite enjoying it. But controls are still, still, still seems to be funky. I'm gonna be like just using my mouse. And um, yeah, the mind map. Still a bit uh, frustrating, but I guess I'll, I'll get used to it. So I'm starting to like this actually. Oh. A rather impressive portrait, I must say. Okay. Well, we're not done here yet. This house looks very dark and empty and um, not that rich. Some of the greatest authors and uh -huh. novels uh, throughout history. And this is the whole collection. To room. It's locked. And sobbing can be heard inside. I assume Madame has taken the law into her own hands. A rose has and crossed arrow symbol adorns the door. Perhaps a signal of forbidden love. Come, my little gray cells, let me let us solve this mystery. It's locked. Okay. <laughs> Searching the kitchen is not essential to my current investigation. Could not... Could I not uh, look at the clock? Okay. Coat. There's nothing in particular about this coat, but what is this in the pocket? Hidden inside the coat pocket. Although fairly plain, it is still an attractive item of jewelry. I wonder if it holds a spe special significance. Ring. I can't rotate it. Uh, so, yeah. Hidden inside a cold pocket, although ah. fairly okay. Well, I think I'll go upstairs maybe and then uh, talk with the lady of the house. Searching the bathroom is not essential. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. There must be the scene of the crime. I was expecting to find clues. Not who, I must assume, is the daughter. I can only hope she was not tampered with the scene. Well, I should talk to her first, right? Angeline. What do you think you're doing in here? Who let you in? Mademoiselle Angeline, I presume. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. An officer of the law? But what are you doing here? Don't you need to be chasing down the burglar? Your bracelet has gone missing. It is only correct. I speak with all members of the house and investigate the scene of the crime. Ah, if we must. Uh, merci. I will attempt to take up as little of your time as possible. Oh, why don't you begin by telling me about what has happened? 
some rats stole my bracelet this morning. Even though it's clear someone has broken in, Maman refused to listen and blamed Florette. You sound very convinced it was taken by someone from outside of the house. My window was open when I returned. How else can you explain that? The bracelet is in question. I must have been in... It must have been a particular value to justify such a daring burglary. It is of great value. Monet was no object to father. It was a gift from your father. I can only assume it holds great value to you also. Of course it does. What a silly thing to say. It's a good thing Maman had it insured with the others. I'm trying to understand how someone could have entered and exited your room unnoticed. It must have been while I was down at breakfast with Elizabeth. She was with me all morning. Mademoiselle Elizabeth was with you until you discovered the bracelet was missing? She was. She woke me up later than usual. I washed and dressed, and we went down to the lounge for breakfast. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can to find the culprit and return your bracelet. As uh, where the bracelet this cool in question was last seen, I must investigate the crime scene thoroughly, leaving no stone unturned. Jelena's bedroom. Oh. Rather irresponsible and dangerous to leave it in the state where whether one is in a rush or not. Huh. The gentleman is, in, is the same as the one from the hall, but judging by the cracked glass, it ha must have been recently dropped. Okay. Oh. It has been left out, oddly not replaced in its stand. The ending has a hooked spike. What further use could it have? Huh. The frame is noticeably cracked. Furthermore, the internal uh, latch shows it has been opened from the inside and rather forcefully, I must add. Something has almost resided here for some time and only moved recently. Fireplace? Mm -hmm. This must keep the room rather snug on a cold evening. It's covered in a black powder, it would not be too much of an assumption to think this has come from dealing with the fireplace. No, I didn't... Aww. This must be where the piece of in question has disappeared from. So many beautiful pieces remain. I believe I have found everything here that I can help me uncover the truth. Perhaps I must consider what exactly these clues mean. The longer you are here, the further the criminal goes with my bracelet. But by all means, fire away. Besides the bracelet, have you noticed anything else missing? Is one bracelet not enough? Please, Mademoiselle, I only ask that you are sure. It is my duty. I, track, uh, I trust you keep track of your jewelry, especially of those such value to you. Oh, why don't you believe me? I wish you hadn't spoken to Maman. As I have stated, it is my duty to speak with every member of the house, and I would not want to have discovered a further missing piece later. You have been of great help to my investigation. No, she wasn't. Well, I think I should talk.
to the madame? Oh, we actually haven't explored here, like here. Can we? Oh, we cannot. Okay. Really, officer, you are wasting both your time and mine. Would you uh, permit me to enter the lounge? Only if you are prepared to take Florette away. It is an offense to incarcerate someone without suitable proof of misdeeds. I must question Mademoiselle Florette to gather her version of events. If you will not do your duty and lock her up, then I must. She shall remain there, and I, the keyholder, until she is led from the room in handcuffs. And what is your point? May I ask of the subject? You may not. Honestly, your prying is getting on my last nerve. Merci, madame. You have been most helpful. The longer you are here, the further the criminal will go. You have been of great. I thought I could talk. Okay, well, I guess not. Wait, what? Talk to Angelina and Elizabeth, talk to Cassandra, talk to Cassandra and Elizabeth. Okay, I oh, will. Elizabeth, right. Uh. Yeah, I should probably talk to Elizabeth too. To bet that there's no like fast clicking to move between the scenes. Mademoiselle Elizabeth, I hope you are feeling less distressed now. I can assure you I shall find the guilty party and the bracelet. Thank you, officer. Yes. All I want is for Florette to be heard. Bien sûr. Rest assured, she will get the fair trial she deserves. I wonder if you could help me with some questions regarding the house. Of course. Whatever I can do to help. There's something coming from behind the locked lounge door. When I left, Madame was with Florette in there. Surely she would not have locked her in. It must have been an accident. Madame Vandenbosch should not be deciding her fate. Would you grant me access to speak with her? I would, sir, but I don't have the key. There is a spare somewhere, though. Oh, how awful the thought of her locked in there. Do you have any thoughts as to where I may find it? I'm sorry. Madame does not trust the staff with such knowledge, even me. Although I did overhear her once say it was hidden somewhere, close to her heart. Whatever that means. I'm filled with sorrow for the young girl trapped in the lounge, but I must admit have missed the thrill of solving a good puzzle. Perhaps the countryside is not as tedious as it seems on the surface. Did you notice anything else missing when you returned? Now I think of it, I don't recall seeing her memento tin. Memento tin? Could this have been... Uh, what usually resides on the desk of Mademoiselle's bedroom. She holds her keepsakes from her father and other gifts or tokens in it. She has such a wonderful collection. She's very lucky. She normally keeps it close, but I didn't see it this morning. Merci, Mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. Well, we've talked with everyone, so I guess it's time to make some deduction. Alright, something else is missing. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Well, abandoned poker, broken glass. Is there something I am not no? seeing? Hmm. Wait, what? I cannot see the logic in this. Uh, no. Come, my little grey cells. Nothing else was taken. Broken glass. Open window. Broken glass. Order and method. That it. A uh, broken glass. What a revelation! It seems the photograph fell on the floor, and Angeline replaced it. Angeline replaced the photograph. Talk to Angeline. Open window. Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of... It was forced open and looking at the poker I cannot see a delicate way it could have been done. Who could do such a thing and why? Someone forced the window from inside. Okay. What about here? Whoa! Pelvis are insured. Strange symbol. Collection of classic novels, auction crate. Uh, expand. Oh, unknown subject. Telephone. I must take a different yeah. approach if I am to. Well, I noticed that the uh, evidence that I should connect or use somehow they start to blink if I like mm, fail too many times. Okay. Hmm. Must act no. on thought and fact. Like there's at least I think one connection. Like in the top left corner you can see. Um strange symbol. Another success. Yeah. I never doubted myself. It seems someone in the house has a keep interest in the works of William Shakespeare. Interest in Shakespeare, and we have like another link yet now appeared. It can be um, made. Interest in Shakespeare, collect of novels. I cannot see the logic in this. Perhaps a second look at the evidence in front of me. Portrait of a gentleman. Gentleman. Come, my little grey cells. Must act on thought and fact, not on. Thing 
things are beginning to become clearer. In Justin Shakespeare and Elizabeth confirms spare key. The key is discreet enough to hide almost everywhere, even inside a book. Okay. Hidden inside a Shakespeare book? Talk to Elizabeth. Certainly, officer. The house contains a great deal of literature. Are you all keen e-readers? Madame is the one with the refined taste. Angeline and I are much more partial to a simple love story. Aren't we all? Romeo and Juliet, the most famous of love stories. <laughs> I do enjoy it so. The passion, the romance. It gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. Madame has a copy upstairs in the main hall. Merci, mademoiselle. Your Really, officer, you are... Merci, madame. You have... One of the greatest love stories ever written. I'm glad to see Shakespeare's word have been enjoyed. And here's the key. The longer you are here, the further. Can I assume the photograph was cracked by accident? How should I know? I returned to the room and father was face down on the floor. It must have been the burglar. So it is your father that is the subject. Isn't he handsome? I remember watching him sit for it. He kept looking across and smiling at me. <laughs> the artist was getting awfully angry at him. If you will entertain my curiosity, would you tell me about your father? Mama never wants to talk about him. She says it's too hard, but she acts more like she doesn't even care he's gone. I'm sure that is not the case. It must have been very hard for her, for you both. I miss him every day. He always knew how to put a smile on my face. <laughs> I remember how much fun we would have, all three of us. In the summer, father and I would play hide and seek while Mama read. She always helped me though whenever it was his turn to hide. I would stand in the gazebo, cover my eyes and count, and when I turned, he was nowhere to be seen. Mama would lower her book and flash a look towards his hiding spot. After I found him, he clapped and cheered as though I had won a gold medal. When I was hiding, it didn't matter where I was. He could never find me. I always thought I, I was an expert hider, but when I think back now, I know he was letting me win. He always said my smile was prize enough for him. He always knew just what to say. I am sure he would want you to be smiling today, even under such circumstances. Haven't heard her story, I can begin to see why he is so missed. It's a tragedy he lost of the loss of a loving father and husband. You have been of great help to my investigation. Finally, it is unlocked. What exactly do you think you are doing? If I am to serve justice, I must be able to reach and talk with young Florette. The girl is guilty and shall pay the price for her crime. I shall see to that. If you wish to listen to her feeble attempts to explain herself, so be it. Everyone deserves to tell their side of the story, whether a feeble account or not. At last I'm able to speak with the accused and hear 
her version of events. Uh, we uh, still have a number of questions. Perhaps she may hold the answers. She's just standing there. She's not even sitting. Okay. Mademoiselle Florette, I presume. Please, officer. I did nothing wrong. You can't take me away. Uh, please relax, my dear. If you have done nothing wrong, you have nothing to worry about. But it is my duty to investigate all avenues. Ah bon? Relax. So you don't think I took the bracelet? As of this moment, I cannot say. But answering my questions honestly will certainly help your case either way. You are accused. Why don't you begin by giving me your account of this morning? I didn't even know it was missing till I got accused of taking it. Madame was so angry. She wouldn't listen to me. There must be some reasoning behind her accusation. How could I have taken it? I've been in town most of the morning. I was even late coming back. Then I was preparing breakfast. So much to do. What exactly were you tasked with this morning? Rihanna, the cook is away, so I had to fetch breakfast for the house and prepare it all myself. How does she expect me to do that all on my own? From what I understand of Madame Vandenbosch, she would not have been best pleased you returned late for breakfast. Not best pleased? I thought she was going to batter me to death with a baguette. I hid in the kitchen and then tried to stay out of sight in the lounge until breakfast was over. Didn't want to put my head near her jaws while she was still hungry. Perhaps a brave move under the circumstances. And you did not go upstairs at all. Madame was singeing a hole in the back of my apron with her glare. I daren't have moved. I was too scared to blink the wrong way. Never mind stamping upstairs. It's this morning's rain. I assume you would have returned. You have hurried your duties. I must just be slow, monsieur. My mother always said I um, move like the snail maybe I was just happy to be out of the house uh, perhaps you were overcome by the volume of the task at hand I had a lot to do I lost track of time I wanted to prove to madame I'm not the useless waif she thinks I am merci I shall take everything you have told me into consideration. Now that I have finally met young Florette, I should work to ex exerting her innocence or guilt. 